Hey, here is an update. Um, I don't know if I explain, turn it around there, how I'm building my house, what it's all about. What I'm doing, you saw my window bucks. In another video, I have three inches of insulation on the exterior of the house. Furring strips are holding that on. I got triple pane windows. This is a Logic door. It is uh, Ventana rebranded as Logic. And I apologize if I'm repeating myself here. But when you turn the handle, you turn all these different points to lock the, the door. And you can see there's one, two, three, four, five here. So when you close it, and then you lock it, what you're doing is you're locking a mechanism to keep the handle from moving, not sticking a, you know, nothing comes out here. There's no hole here. And anyways, uh, let's see, three inches of exterior insulation, uh, two and a half inch interior walls that are gonna be insulated. These windows are nice. You turn them 90 degrees and they open the vent or if you wanna clean them or whatever but you can also turn them another 90 degrees and then they vent open. And I can vent my entire house, you know, all the windows. And what I'm gonna do is open this door here to the garage and I'll turn on that fan. Obviously this is gonna have drywall up here so it's gonna depressurize the house and pull cool air through. Uh, let me see, so yeah. So what's going on out here? I started siding. I think you may have picked up on that on a prior video. There's my color of my siding. Got a door in the garage here. And here, here it is. That's the, the color that it's going to be. I didn't want any white window frames popping out, yelling at you. It's going to be kind of a, a subdued colored house, if you will. So I'm going to have to paint this guy here. Um, I have wood colored garage doors coming in and if you guys aren't up on the times two garage doors a nine foot and a 16 foot is just over seven grand it's insane here's the color that we're going with and not that this matters one bit I just couldn't believe how that color matches this door but I really don't care if they match or not that's not a big deal. Oh, what else can I show you here? Um, these screws that I'm holding the furring strips on to keep the three inches of exterior insulation on are five inch long screws. They're expensive. They're about a buck a screw. Let me take you down here. So you can see all the screws I have. Screw, screw, screw every, I don't know every couple feet anyways and uh those things uh let's see i ordered two boxes of 150 and then another i was going to order another box of 50 because i was running out but i got two boxes of 50 and i'm happy for that because i just ran out again so i'm in my last box of 50 and all i have is this here to fur out and I'm going to have to take care of the corners and move forward from there. Got a little bit of insulation up here and over here. And then around that, around that beam there, right up on this header. So we're making progress here. I've got a bunch of video, but it's all cluttered together. I just don't know if I'm gonna get around to, to putting it all together. Um, yeah, not really sure what else to say here. This is going to be a little console for all the uh, video electronics. I'll have a TV on this wall. This is I'm going to have to put a two by four in here for a 19 or 16 inch on center. So that's going to hold all my doodads for the for the TV. It's kind of kind of funny. I had a Mennonite group of Mennonite kids build this place and I said I want 24 inch on center didn't even think about it they went ahead and built the interior walls on 24 inch center I didn't really care about the interior walls but it is what it is you can see I got my outlets placed I don't know if you can see that yeah I guess you could see those 
and let's see I'm gonna start wiring here soon goal the goal the main goal the only goal that I really care about is getting some drywall roughed in in this bathroom unfinished bathroom so we could take a shower that's all I care about I just want running water I want warm water and uh, we're, we're getting there there's the view from the bedroom what do you guys think you like the view from the bedroom it's pretty cool anyway y'all out there watching I appreciate your feedback on the video or two ago I said I'm making this for me but I kind of realized there's a lot of people interested in what I'm what I'm videoing in and what I'm videoing is that a word uh, anyways I appreciate the feedback and I guess this isn't all just for me when I when I really step back and think about it um, it's for others to enjoy as well so I need to think about that but you guys want to see anything let me know I'll just try to keep documenting the best I can and uh, can't wait till winter actually because I want to see how these triple pane higher solar heat gain coefficient windows perform this is the south I don't know if I've mentioned I probably mentioned that these two windows are higher heat solar heat gain coefficient windows and I designed the overhang here where the sun's above it in the summer and it's going to be right here in the fall winter spring it's going to come in hopefully you're going to grab all those natural btus free of charge so a lot of work to go a ton of work to go but i think uh i would like to get my uh my drywall on the ceiling and then maybe i could put some insulation up top with three inches of insulation exterior should be able to hold a little heat here's my urinal waterless they call it waterless it has a cartridge I don't know figure it's nice to have right off the garage door if I don't like it I'll pull it out might be stinky I don't know anyway